Shining seed. Nice. Hey. Now I can grow something with a chance of, along with lumber, giving me something cool. A rare gem. And if there's something on there. Oh, that's a... Uh, that will increase the speed at which they grow. Because it being a tree, it will take a while. But not nearly as long now. Hey, yeah, 3.9 times. That's pretty good. And that sound is also Skippy, finally bringing on the legendary Klaus. Oh, it's me, Klaus! Alright, well, I guess the Klaus is out of the bag. Why don't you say hi to the nice people, Clues? Aw. Adorable. Don't try and... Don't try and kiss my face. Gross. I know you eat your poops. <laughs> yeah, you need to fertilize with dead grass like I'm doing now. Oh, you gotta fertilize with your poops? Oh, fine. Do you want to kiss? Shit. <laughs> oh, no. Good work. <laughs> I didn't mean to feed one to Sven, but she got in the way. <laughs> you jerk. Sven, eat this bag of shit. <laughs> Sven also eats his own poops. <laughs> I'm Sven. I can't stop eating my poops. Don't worry, it's actually very easy to heal your animals. Just send them back home. They're immediately fine. Yeah. Dang, little man, you got some beefy ribs. We're almost ready to eat. Right, well, I took out one. The rest of them aren't gonna be that easy. Yeah, well, at least they're not immediately fusillating you to death. That was one of the most effective video game ambushes I've ever seen. Yeah. And now I've got tomato ghosts. Oh! Ah, uh, now you've got his attention. Mmm, you love a tomat, don't you, little man? Oh yeah, the portal. I should probably take care of that first. No, just keep farming tomato ghosts. What if you, uh, what if you befriend them? Do they drop tomatoes? I don't know. I don't think so. It's probably their poops. They probably poop tomatoes. Like cherry tomatoes. If they do drop tomatoes at all, it's probably a really rare drop, because I've never seen it. Mmm. Same with the onion ghost. Is there also a basil ghost and a mozzarella ghost? Because we can make a really good ghost salad. Oh, man. You like a margarita hunting. A pizza ghost. Oh, wait a second. A little spooky crazy. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. I remember this room. Yeah, it sucks. You need to follow the pattern of the fire, and usually you're not, so, like, I just bum-rush it. Yeah, it stinks, because you get knocked around if you try and be clever. What are you doing? Why are you licking my arm? You little weirdo. <laughs> oh, explore through tasting! You're a terrible co-commentator, Klausy. <laughs> so, what's his opinion on video game farming techniques? I think the problem is you're not funneling the produce directly into his mouth. Hey, it's a shittier version of what Sven has. Although you can use it like a ram, which is kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. Uh. Yeah, I don't have to kill all things here, but I do want those rocks. So we're gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with another scorpion. And win and paralyze it. Yeah, I think one of the things I upgraded the swords with gave paralysis as a chance. Always nice to put that in. You probably notice Sven also has a chance of dizzying enemies. If I don't kill them first. <laughs> no, don't kill the flower. No, let me eat it. It's for me! Oh, you're so- Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> he got pissed off and bit me in the belly. Oh. <laughs> it's because I was holding him up to the microphone and he's like, Oh, I'm furious now. <laughs> you're such a grumpy little boy. That's why you're the number one spicy boy, ain't it, Klausy? <laughs> Dumb rodent. Gonna make him a Discord account so he can be number one spicy boy in the channel. 
That's right, number one spicy boy. Oh, don't you look at me with that cute little face after you bit me. That really hurt. Just pulled a crystal out of the lava. Well, yeah. With your bare hands. And a baked apple? Nice! What's up, cutie? It's not how you make apple pie. I don't know, it's how you make baked apple. Yeah, man. You need a crust if you want to make a pie. Well, that exactly is how it works in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> to be fair. You just, you just throw... Uh, you know, throw an apple on the ground in, in, in Elden, and you're good. Baked apple. Boom. Right, cutie? A little peculiar these goblins drop oil so consistently. Oh, uh, there's nothing finer than extra virgin goblin grease. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, it's how they keep their hair so silky smooth. Mmm, speaking of goblin grease, wow, you're greasy. How you doing? You little cutie. Oh, that's right. You bite me again, I'll beat you to death, Pussy. <laughs> right in front of the internet, little man. That's right. There will be hundreds of witnesses to your demise, won't there? Yeah. You shuffle your cheeks, too. What's happened to my LP? I don't know. You're the one that's all like, sure, bring your guinea pig. You know I'm losing my mind over these cuties, man! <laughs> yeah, look at all the cuties. Throwing knives and spitting seeds. Yeah, right. Those plants look like plague doctors. Well, a pretty cool thing, although it, it was slightly disappointing when I realized this. I picked up Cure All, which, unlike I had hoped, does not cure status effects like poison or paralysis, but it does heal everyone in your party no matter where they are, so like, you could be on the other side of the room and it'll still heal them, which is pretty nice. Oh, that's cool. So, sorry, was that an item or a spell? A spell. Oh, that's handy. Hey. Gorgeous not guinea pig food. Come on. Everything's guinea pig food if you put your mind to it. Oh, if it fits in my mouth, it's food. This nice piece of uranium. That's right, just like your big fat belly, Granola! Fits my mouth, it's my dinner now. <laughs> One of them is not making it through this video. Yeah, that's right. I'm not sure which. You gonna hollow me out like a pumpkin. I'm gonna live inside you from now on. That's right. And assume control of my manly body and use me to open the vegetable crisper. <laughs> I know oh. that's why you keep the nummy nums! Big buddy, it's a troll. Oh. It was a troll. Troll skip leg day. Oh, that guy was too small to control! Too small to control! <laughs> Good attempt there, buddy. Oh shit. Oh no. Trolls for days. Surprisingly not very strong. At least not against me. Good work, Sven. Good work, Sven. <laughs> Are they immune to the lava plumes? Yep. That's bullshit. Just another example of how fair this game is. Super fair. After a point, I realized the long rooms don't usually require you to kill everyone. I might have made a mistake here. Oh no. Oh hell. Saved it. Yes, but for how long? About that long. But I packed a lot of juice. RP management has been my biggest problem here. But some of the fruit juices are actually pretty good for that. Are you juicing now? I'm healthy juicing. 
but I will eventually get diabetes. Look at all that crap that we got. Bits of plants, old bandages, sticks. Yeah, real, real treasure trove right there. For one such as myself, it is. One man chunk is another man's crafting materials. Man, this room sucks. Oh my god. That noise alone. I think Sven actually took out the flame gate herself. That's pretty cool. She didn't like it any more than you. <laughs> Someone shut up this infernal racket. Thanks, Sven, for letting us know that was there. What would we do without you? I think we're finally at the end of this level. I should just call the airship into the middle of this volcano. And switch it back to the pendant, because I do need more defense for this. Yeah, plants should be in a lava ruins, sure. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, this is a secret of mana ripoff. <laughs> so the key with that fight, you want to take out the little bits surrounding the plant before taking on the plant itself. Because I think if it has all of them together, then it can heal itself. With the damage output I'm doing, it's not lasting much. See, there, now I'm fatigued. I'm getting tired just watching you. And also, I have another status effect. I'm not quite sure what it is, though. Well, you know, it's that purple number coming up. That's actually draining my RP. I'm magic poisoned. Oh, alright. I figure it's, like, curse. Oh, not a wasp. Ah! Give me honey, damn it. Thankfully with Sven, not a very hard boss. That's actually pull his weight, surprisingly. Then I can buy it. Your very own spooky mansion. And every time you go into a cutscene to place a rune sphere, the boss won't be there. Marionette will show up if I leave and come back, though. It's working! And she is pissed. So, like, how dare you send all these little Roonies? I'm losing my mind over these little Roonies. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually pure poison to me. Puber, don't you know that Roonies are highly radioactive? <laughs> well, it's not slowing me down any. Luckily. Yeah, for now. Until you get, like, leukemia. Got him. No. No more fantasy magic cancer. What is the answer to life, universe, and everything? Step back, I can take this chump. <laughs> Eat his head and breathe fire down the hole. Ooh! Out of all the people I killed, I'm sure they weren't part of it. Yes, yes, the day your shitty village met Ventus Will was the most momentous day in your life, but for me... It was just the fluff festival. It was pubes day. <laughs> Everyone turns to puber, dun dun dun. <laughs> you can name a day after yourself, right? That's in your prince power. <laughs> Causing good people like Pubert? <laughs> Nobody caused me. Pubert is an accident of nature.
Oh yeah, the big evil empire, they're trustworthy. We've completely forgotten about everything they did in Rune Factory 1. That's what you get for trusting big government. Alright, Kirk. One interesting detail, you'll notice the sound effect for her text is now the quiet version. Will you believe me? The monster? I like the direction this cutscene goes, actually. I didn't kill your family. What, that door marked dead body storage? I, I don't know anything about that. So I keep fucking dying, dude. I can explain this already. Oh man! Damn it! Wait, but you. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> I don't believe in Venti for anything. No, look, Pubert. It's entirely possible Venti's a murderer. She is a monster, okay? Just don't know if she was a murderer in this case. <laughs> look, murderers also have friends. I got lots of friends. Yes, we do. I mean, they do. Oh! Damn it. All right. We should team up. You only get to pick one of those. Uh-oh. <laughs> Which one of his children does Thorn love more? Uh-oh. Which one of us is the real murderer? Jacuz! <laughs> she still called me... Puby. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it, but she wouldn't stop. She's big on nicknames. I'd be trying to sleep and I'd hear calling down the castle. Oh, Puby, you're so fine. You're so fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Puby! Damn. Solve that mansion mystery and now I'm Puby Dooby Doo. <laughs> that might be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Ruh oh! <laughs> Raw over. Oh, would you like a puby snack? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not like a puby snack. <gasps> they get stuck in my teeth. Uh, so, like I mentioned, <laughs> I like the direction this cutscene goes because at the end, Doug doesn't make the choice. He leaves it to Pubert, you know, the one smart enough to make the choice. Right, wait. Pubert? <laughs> smart? Well, the character we have named Pubert. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm i feeling you, Jeeve. <laughs> From what I've seen, <laughs> Pubert's kind of a dipshit. <laughs> he has heart, though. Oh, he does have heart, and that's all that counts in an anime. So he just gives us the rune sphere and we'll do whatever's right. Yeah. <laughs> Did he just say, shut up? Mm -hmm. I didn't do it for you, Baka. Anyway, smell you later, losers. I'm still your rival! Yeah, I think they play with those lives like a cat. Mm. Norad, backwards for Darren.
eat it. That thing is just bonkers loaded with runies. <laughs> Been on Rooney withdrawal. Got the delirium Rudies. <laughs> That's not the part you should be concerned about. The chasing part you should be. What did I tell you about Pubert being a dipshit? <laughs> Everyone knows it. I chased after a chip squeak, and then the world told me it loved Ventuswell. <laughs> so much for the music. Oh, there we go. Were just standing there, mouth wide open. <laughs> Good girl. So by now we pretty much know what the rune spheres are for. I don't think it's ever quite explained why Pubert was bringing them to Selfia in the first place. It probably was to help out Ventuswell. And then we just ended up falling into doing that anyway. It's like Destiny. Or maybe he's just like a really good courier. Pubert's going to release the last Guardian. <laughs> Is it going to be five years before this LP's over now? Three care! Three care! So now, where previously Ventuswell was constantly unconscious, now she'll be sleeping. So not much has changed. I just realized that Arthur is reading a really stupid star-shaped <laughs> book. Yeah, Travis and I discussed that a little bit. We didn't really come to a conclusion. I bet it's one of those, like... Mark Z. Danielewski kind of kind of books. You know, one of those ones where the text itself is part of the story, kind of like House of Leaves. Or maybe it's a pop-up book. <laughs> Shut up, everyone. What? Dipshits, we are all dipshits in this town. Off to Dipshitsburg, Dipshit Brigade. Dipshit Brigade. With my prince powers, I've inaugurated the Dipshit Festival. <laughs> Cost me 50,000 prince points. Ugh. Xiao's eyes look really wrong there. Hmm, it's harder to read this book without my glasses. <laughs> Somebody's doodled a pornographic drawing in my star book. Oh, that was me. 
I did it, I can't be stopped. The sword upon the altar. It's this nutty ball, Forte! <laughs> Uh, please stop staring at me with your weird, big, giant anime eyes, alright? In fact, Amber, your services won't be required. Go back to the flower shop. Go! Get! <laughs> get out! Go dig some holes. And fertilize something. Come on, Dealers, put two and two together. This thing literally shits Roonies. Here, let me shake it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, ow, oh, oh, my runes! See, you hear that? Of course. It's crazy, they hate that. <laughs> I trust you. No, shut up, Margaret. Let Vulcanon talk some more. Maybe he'll do hyper carpentry again. I assume he gets you into the tower. Nope, we have to get in the tower ourselves. Oh. He doesn't just build like a giant wooden scaffolding in six seconds. <laughs> That'd probably be easier, frankly. <laughs> he doesn't just blast a Vulcan-shaped hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> right out the other side. <laughs> nope, in order to get into Leon Karnak, we actually need to get through a giant portal that is opened up. It's completely blocked off the way. Leon Karnak? Mm-hmm. Sounds like a Gears of War character. Well, the Guardian there is named Leon. Yes. So I don't know where, I don't know where the Karnak came from. Mr. Well, Kennedy? <laughs> it'd be a pretty good name for an R&B singer. What? <laughs> Probably. That's a, I'd go see Leon Karnak do an acoustic set. Oh, yeah, man. Life-changing. Hubert looks a little cross-eyed there. He's thinking really hard. Regrettably. <laughs> it's a crazy plan, but it just might work. Or summon a gigantic monster to kill us all. I mean, what could possibly go wrong destroying a giant magic gate and turning everything into monster hell? That's definitely not how at least a dozen apocalyptic fantasy settings started. It was Vulcanen. Vulcanen made it back. Yep. I'd believe it. I'd believe he just punched a wall and ended up in there in the first place. Well, because Venti wanted some very specific tea. Oh, look at paper! Let's go read! But I do like this. Everyone in town gets together to help you out. And in the end, only one person is really gonna help us, but hey. It's a nice sentiment. It's not Illuminata who helps. <laughs> Where the- <laughs> Flies away. She shoots fairy dust all over everybody and they break out in hives. Like beehives. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> like the 1950s hairstyle. 
<laughs> but actually full of bees. <laughs> All right. Does everyone have their buddy? Oh, that is a serious face. Not the old lady. <laughs> she wanders off into the forest. <laughs> and she was never heard from again. She comes back wearing just like bloody chip squeak pelts as clothes. <laughs> You've been gone for 17 years. A flint knife clenched between her teeth. <laughs> Don't fuck with grandma. Great! All right, I guess I'll, um, keep picking pea snips, I guess. Pretty much. But wait, we're not done. Oh, what's up, the B team? <laughs> <laughs> We heard everything, but there wasn't enough memory to load all our models. <laughs> all right. Uh. I was afraid to talk to my daughter. She just fucks off. <laughs> Pubert immediately slumps over. <laughs> All this positivity is kicking my ass. <laughs> oh, this is too much for an introvert like me. Can I just go pickle some more turnips? Wrong game, Clarica. The real monster is man. Uh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Hi, good evening. Did he like spill hot coffee on himself? No, <laughs> uh. oh, my tea. Well, give give it a moment, Pubert. They've only started. Oh, God, I hate your stupid Jimmy Jams. <laughs> Aw, they look comfy. They match his eyes. Ugh. And his hair. You just wish you were so coordinated. You know what? You got me there, man. You should be like me and not care how you look. Whoa! <laughs> because you naturally look amazing. Boom! It's fine, actually, as a Canadian, I only ever wear a plaid shirt and jeans, so... It's pretty much sleep in that. <laughs> it's fine, my bed is a pile of straw. With the maple syrup tap on one end and the Timmy's tap on the other. Yeah, absolutely, man. See, you know how, like, Venti will die if she doesn't get enough runes? <laughs> I'll die if I don't get enough sweet tree drippings and shitty coffee. Hey, let me, let me ask you guys a question. So, when you kill monsters, right... They don't die, they just go back to the forest of beginnings to come back and harass you again, right? So, if that were a real thing, what kind of monster would you would you be? Student loan debt. That's a pretty scary monster. <laughs> I think I'd like to be a dragon, but a dragon like the size of a chicken. Anyway, think on it. Fans and co-commentators, sound off in the thread. What kind of monster would you be? <laughs> 